Greetings and salutations, my operators, and welcome back to Fake Grand Order. I don't know what's going on with the recording, or not the recording the stream. It's extremely laggy. I think I forgot to do something. Okay, how's this now? Okay, uh, we're still in red. I don't know why we're in red. It's very concerning. I've closed everything that can slow us down. Okay, I guess we're just doing with us. Something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. Anyways, back to the challenge quest. Last time we met some actual Olympians. Turns out they're all as strong as servants. And, uh, they know what's going on. They don't want to die. We don't want to die. So, it's war. Let's continue. Hey, Musashi. Well, this messes up the Grand Servant only run. Well, it's just a story fight anyway, so it's not really that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Holmes. Uh, okay, can't use skill, so we still have our bus for next round. Uh, man, there's like nothing I can really do here. Hmm? I should use Ramos. Okay. Hmm. Not much I can do. I don't think she has a like, star gather. No, she doesn't have like ignore invincible. And, and star drop rate and remove debuff, which I'll use later. Uh Guess we'll make our one pretty fast. And just do an arch chain. That works out well. Time to die. I don't think he can one shot the orb, the Mars scale annihilator. But darn skip him gonna try. I mean ideally we take them both out in one turn. Oh right, anti five. Yeah, that can't that can't kill me. Nice. Songai, so tenai des. Nanto ka narimashita, senpai. Man, I want to give the core. I need figs, damn it, figs. Phew, this is rough. I swear, is everyone in Olympus as strong as a heroic spirit? Because it sure feels like it. I'm not detecting any magical energy readings nearby. I think we managed to lose them for the time being. I'll use a talisman to put up a concealment bounded field. It's not much, but I should give it you a moment to breathe. You, you did great, Master. You just ran the equivalent of a 1,500-meter dash at full speed. You should use this chance to take some deep breaths and replenish your ox oxygen levels. It would help to sit. Would help to sit down. Uh. No, I'm okay. Thanks. Don't forget to rest up yourself, Mesh. 
I won't. Thank you, Master. Fo, Fo! Right, thank you, Fo. That's very considerate. I guess it wasn't just that first Olympian soldier who turned in, turned out to be incredibly strong. No, it wasn't. These people have all been powered up to an unheard of degree. It feels like humans were were brought up to heroic spirit levels while still somehow remaining human. And they're not just physically strong, their mental toughness is off the charts too. They didn't even bat an eye at losing an arm. Yes, well, you can understand why that they might be so fired up, as they now as I say nowadays. They're fighting for their world just as much as we are for ours. No doubt they have their own loved ones they wish to protect here. It's little wonder they would put up such a tremendous fight. There was always a chance that we would need to fight our way through the local populace in previous Lost Belts. Now, it would seem, that possibility has become reality. Meaning, every person in this Lost Belt, that is, everyone who lives here in Olympus, na should now be considered our enemy. Everyone in this, in this Lost Belt. Luce's revelation was extremely effective. From now on, we should consider the entire city to be on look on the lookout for us. Suffice to say, the Olympians are simultaneously innocents who depend on the Tree of Emptiness for their survival, and vicious enemies who will take any chance they can, can to end us. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exactly why we need to hold our heads high. Not we need to beat them, or we need to be strong, but we need to hold our heads high, huh? He really does have his head screwed on straight. I didn't even have to break out a pep talk. I guess they've both seen a whole lot of worlds in the time between Russia and here. Oh, right. This really isn't the time to let our guard down and relax, is it? Besides, we don't know if these people can still hear us through the bounded field or not. They can't. As strong as they may be, the Olympian soldiers are still limited by their human perception cap capabilities. The defensive systems do seem able to sense magical energy. But given the sheer amount found, it found in the atmosphere, the addition of, of a few servants shouldn't draw any notice. As long as we don't have, say, a divine spirit class servant among our ranks, or they don't try to find us with something similar to a god's own eyes, we should be safe for it. And that's Jinx it. Mr. Holmes. As I was saying, similar to something similar to a god's own eyes could be able to detect the bounded field itself. A god, in this case, referring to any being that surpasses our common understanding of magecraft and heroic spirits. In other words, Huh? In other words, to a god, or a being roughly on par with one, we would appear to be totally out in the open. An enormous magical energy reading is hair away! 30 meters! 20! 10! It's coming from the other side of the alley! It was a humanoid. It was definitely shaped like a human, but it was much too big to be one. It resembled nothing so much as a giant. The sound of metal scraping together pierced the air. Goddamn, it's so cool! Intruders detected! Initiating elimination. It was a bronze giant. Well then, it's the Big O. I think the Big O is the Mecca, or was the Big O just the show name? Ooh, figs. Fruit of Eternity. I need those for armless. Oh, it's a Berserk class, and we're still using Misashi, okay. 
just switch the lineup to... Uh... Boop and... Boop and boop. Back to grands only. Uh, oh, nope. And shove mash to the front. Make Musashi last. Sure do which I had Orion. Section 3. Olympus' reception. Second half. Intruders detected. Initiating elimination. A bronze giant, according to myth, is a monster. Now I see. It must have incorporated legends from the island of Rhodes, so the gods themselves must have minted this bronze giant. And now, in Olympus, they've no doubt deployed it as a, an automatic defensive system for the purpose of eliminating intruders. Its magical energy readings are too high for my sensors to measure. This output is on par with a divine spirit, and its magical energy type isn't like any other kind of giant. A bronze giant, huh? I guess this means we really are in Greece. It doesn't look like blades would do much against it, be much use against it, either. Or that it's about to let us go without a fight. Bell Draco, mash! Now that it's found us, we've got no choice but to send this hard head packing. Got it. Raising Ortonax output. Engaging combat mode. All functions are fine-tuned and working properly. Spirit Origin Awakening Rate is, a, is well within standard parameters. Here goes nothing. I'm pretty sure it goes everything. I've fought and trained in all sorts of different worlds. I've lost track of how many monsters I've cut down. I'm sure I've never fought a Greek bron bronze giant before. But now is as good a time as any to see if I can cut through it. Now, have at you. Whew, yeah. Fatal battle. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's nearly a million, million HP. Uh, recover at end of turn when HP reaches zero. Recover once and survive. Huh. Okay. Oh my god. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh god, our okay. shanleys. Get to 70. Nope, 51. 60. 70? E3? Well, I did say once we have 70, we're good. Although, I'm very concerned about how this is going to end up. Did not really expect this much damage. Uh, I mean, Gramps has guts, so maybe we'll be fine. I'll put a bait on Roland. Oh, he'll touch heal. Probably will touch. All in Romulus. How does Gramps have such a high star weight? He's an assassin. Alright. Let's see how well this goes. I should have looked a fair bit amount of damage. Can I just survive? Oh, you gotta be effing kidding me. Why, game? Why do you hurt me like this? Oh, that was Colin. I ain't mashed doesn't really do anything here. Okay, so Ramos is dead. Grant is dead. Mashes. 
Thank you, Angel Taurus. Taurus? Taurus. This definitely could have gone better. Oh, at least that crit. Sure hit. I'm starting to think the grand only run is not gonna end well. Because all the grands are dead now. Jeez. Hmm. Well, I'm, I think I might be able to like fully recover my NP. Okay, let's see how well this goes. Man, this damage is insane. Well, the game just kind of gets harder in story mode. <laughs> That's pretty much what's going on. <laughs> Events are thankfully like the same different level throughout. But yeah, they really uh, pulled out all the stops for Olympus here. Well, I think I'm just dead here. Because I can't evade this. Hmm. And he still has like a guts. I really overestimate how much damage you can do. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, now I know is an AoE Berserker. Uh, do I have anything defensive against this? Oh, you have you'll have, you'll have plenty of time to like upgrade your team then. Uh, MP gain by 15, arc by 15, bus by 15, MP strength by 15. Oh, actually, I didn't really have this. Uh, MP gain by 15, MP plus 3%, gain 4 stars, not really what I want. This is a maybe. Just for quick. This is crit strength. Man, I should really like, look up all my defensive stuff. Defense up, I guess? Increased defense by 20%. Special defense against the male. Uh, increased defense by 10%. Okay, so I don't really have anything. <laughs> Kinda in the yikes zone. I don't think this robot's a male either. So, <laughs> that's not helpful. Uh, if I wasn't doing a challenge run, I would just use my foreigners. <laughs> okay, let's at the very least switch up to that one. Boop, 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 boop. MP gain, MP strength. There's one that was. Oh, I still have the defensing up. Oh, that's why. Miyu is MP gain by 30% and start with 50%. Literally a strictly better Divine Banquet. 
Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. That would let me start off the battle with an NP. Alright, let's try that. Do I have anything? Do I have anything for divine damage up? Eh, I can't search that, okay. Uh, strength up? Oh yeah, I do. Cool. Plus 30% damage. Yeah, that's for humanoid. Ignore defense. Ooh! Plus 35% damage against Berserker. That's weirdly relevant. Alright, let's try this build, I guess. Well, that's good. Yeah, in the in the first part of the game, it's actually not too hard to beat the game with just the like three stars and lower characters. So you should be fine for that entire chunk. It's just the uh what do you call it? Uh Epic of Remnants that things start getting a little tougher. And then the Lost Belts just have a lot of face punches. Wait, I don't... Uh, that I forgot, I don't have a max skill. Oh, the waste. Hmm. Man, I'm a derp. Oh, yeah, you should be fine. I critted so much damage. I could have, I could have won last time. He just critted. いじった方がいいんじゃないか。ああ、共に行こう。背中を押せ。我らの腕は全てに届く。全てを先。いずれ空の彼方にさえも。Oh yeah, there's a, a free 5-star coming up, so if you don't have Waver, get Waver. Waver literally makes all content pretty easy. Wow, so not enough, huh? Okay, so Merlin's dead this turn. Uh, I'll put a dodge on Ramos because I want to survive. <laughs> Just give me a quick game, come on! It's not getting crits, it's just... This is awful. Uh, okay... That's not fantastic. I didn't want Night Buster Parker, really. And Mario out buffs, so... If I throw Azrael at him... Wait, how many turns do I have my Guzzle left? Okay, uh, three turns. Cool. So I'll save Azrael for next turn then. I'll pop up. Action. Target. Just so he gets more MP. Alright. So we just do a Romless Chain here. 
我らの腕は全てに届く全てを裂き全てを開くいずれ空の彼方にさえもペルーフラーのアストラあ、ないフレッドおーマグヌスアサイえクラップアサイダメージウェーイ !This is a bad spot I think she should be able to do 60k. I severely overestimate her every time. Well, the bright side is that both Mash and her have been this So we have one more turn. Okay, it's not being removed, so I'm kind of worried. Well, I'm hoping that means the gust is gone. Okay, thank god. Whew. Too close. Okay, another one. Concerning. Okay, let's take this off. I just don't know if it counts as divine. I mean, it's awesome if it does, but if it doesn't, then I'm just running a plus 50% MP gauge. Musashi! Nice cover there, Mash. Okay, you handle the fence. I'm going to try an all all or nothing full power five strike combo right there on his right arm. Man, that literally just happened. Amazing! She made a crack in his arm with a combo using the flat side of her swords. And actually managed to completely sever his right arm. The bronze giant's m magical energy readings are fading rapidly. If you can't cut him with one strike, keep hitting him until we can. Split in half just like old man Yagu's stone lantern. I I see. I have to remember that one. Fo, fo, fo. No problem. This sort of thing's a piece of hmm? Hmm? Something doesn't feel right. It's almost as if this battle isn't over. Mash! Get ready for battle again! Understood, Master. The giant's severed right arm is reattaching itself. It's been completely restored, and the bronze giant's magical energy rings are rising back to unknown levels. A self restoration mechanism. Well, I would tr be truly fascinated to learn more about how it works. Well, damn. This is, this is exactly why I hate about fighting things that don't bleed. How are you guys holding up? You ready for round two with this thing? 
I'm ready. How about you, Bell Draco? Uh, I'm still good to go. Oh, thanks for the fall. Now that's what I like to hear. Thanks for getting me fired up. Unfortunately, there's no way we can take this thing down without attracting more soldiers. So let's find some way to do that as fast as we possibly can. Whatever it takes, and be a hasty retreat. Oh, shut up. I wasn't talking to you. Alright, big guy. Get ready. This time, I'm taking your head right off. Alright. Please don't pee some HP. Ah, oh, I have the break bar now. And it has attack with us? Well, this isn't fantastic. Huh. Concerning. Very concerning. Lo Really? A crit? Dear God! Did I have to pop Invincible like right off the bat? Man, these battles are getting tough. Especially for these stupid challenge runs. Do I use her invisibility then? Honestly, poor. Okay, I think that should let King Hassan survive. Maybe. Oh, okay, like, end the turn. Sure, whatever. Wow, she really does not have, like, a... Uh, star attraction thing. Wait, why did I do that? I should've done Hassan first. Uh, oh, I'm stupid. I don't think he's surviving this turn. <laughs> Alright, Musashi combo. Nio Kurikara! Shotensho! Oh, it's only attacking twice now. Unfortunately, this is not ideal because he's almost dead, so it's just a waste to use my MP. Well, crap baskets. And I'm pretty sure this team's dead this turn. Yep, I have no defensive moves. Okay, so Hassan died. What? 
problem. Yeah, everyone's dead. Ah, oh, man. Crit's off. Alright, let's try this again. Ugh, oh, boy. Okay, that's all growing, going fruit. I feel like I'm gonna have to restart a lot. Okay, I feel like having everyone in the back row is gonna be very important. I'm gonna switch this out for like an actual defensive one. See how well this goes. So we need to hold out for the first couple turns just so the buff goes away. Okay, pretty much just spending this turn building NP. Okay. Man, just not enough. Wow. Okay. We'll pop Gramps and stuff. I wish Gramps got more NP gauge from dying. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll bust Jane. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, well, this is gonna have to do. Just need to do as much damage as possible right now. Okay, I looked up the enemy trait. It only has heaven and super giant. It is not divine. Crap. Oh my god. Seriously? 2%? Of course. Of course! Ugh. Okay, let's pop missability. Because we have no real choice here. Mm. <laughs> Hyper burned. That's just what I would need. And I don't have any buster cards. Fantastic. Mmm, game. You're really drawing me a good hand here. 
この手世界の果てまでもどうも I, we could have won and we drew a buster card. <laughs> so that's real annoying. Uh, just use a buster, just get more damage in. Uh, I think we're just dead from burn damage. Can crit for me. Tyson. That last hit. That last hit did it. We're so close. Very tempted to use the quartz. Ah, oh, man. We're just not getting the good cards right now. It's really annoying. Okay, so this doesn't do anything for us other than give us 50%. So let's change that to... No, let's go with generic, uh... Go in sumo! 50% attack, it's 50% attack! Also, it's my one not level 100 thing, so... Man, this is this is really tough. Can't wait for the next one, which is gonna be all Atoria. But at least that one has like way more characters I can use. Okay. Got my time. Got my time until the bus goes. Yeah, by time we'll gain enough MP to, you know, murder it. Ideally, we clear the first the first break bar before the second. Good hands we're getting dealt here. Uh, I guess we just go for the Sun Buster Chain or Extra Chain, because he's gonna die this turn. Well, we saw just has one turn left. Like, that would have done as much as that. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Okay, thank god. Man! Why is her star gain so low? Okay, a hundred A2. Not terrible. Okay, the bar should be cleared. And they'll take the first hit of the post break bar. Okay, that worked out well. Ah, 
time. I'm really surprised that Mesh didn't die. I honestly kind of need her too. <laughs> Unless I get three arts cards here. Yep. That's not helpful. Huh. Kinda. Okay, I should probably go for arts or arts quick arts. Build up the NP gauge that Ramos needs. Well, getting some quick stars in. Or maybe I should just start off with quick because it gives everyone cards. Everyone starts. Damn this burn. Also, the major problem with having Nash alive right now is that her star weight is insanely huge. So I want to kind of, uh, kind of messes up some things. Alright, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're going all in. If this, if a crit misses, we're dead. Just need the crit the entire time. <laughs> I forgot about the guts. Yeah, we are on fire. Thank God. Okay, it's actually dead. Oh. Too dangerous. Did I steal both of his eyeballs? Is that, is that what's going on? That's a berserker sign behind the saber, isn't it? Yeah. That means robots with soldiers. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I don't think this actually did that much. Other than let her live slightly longer. <laughs> Which actually might have messed things up, so... Uh, these are guts. Hmm, I have a lot of, like a. Yep, yeah, reduce damage by 400. The thing's doing like 5k damage to us, so I'm not sure how much 400 is gonna help. This the special attack stuff. Hmm. Like we're taking so much damage, I can't even get an NP off. Wait, what's the charge up? Oh, charge levels. Oh, I actually didn't know I had this. I didn't know I had this next out. Hmm. You know what? 
let's try using that. Why not? And I did it! The bronze giant has fallen silent. Its magical energy readings has disappeared. We did it, Master! We beat it! Great job! Now let's get out of here! Understood! We need to move at top speed. Mash, you carry Barrel Draco. R right! Foe, you hold on to Barrel Draco's arm. How about you, de Detective Guy? Need a shoulder to lean on? Thank you, but that's quite alright. I'm perfectly capable of running on my own. It's barely the manly man bullshit. There's no way you can run with a BS spear core. Oh. It's your injury from Scandinavia, isn't it? I remember hearing you hadn't completely recovered from that injury, but I never would have thought your spear core was still damaged. What were you thinking, fighting in that condition? Your ether body could have fallen apart at any moment. I suppose I should have known I couldn't pull the wool over your heavenly eyes, Miss Mushashi. Indeed, you've got me dead to rights. I didn't want Miss Curialite and Barrel Draco to be the only ones risking their lives, so I'm afraid I took some rather foolish risks. Forgive me. I would be grateful for the insistence. Much better. Now come on! R right We've come out on, on a major road. Uh-oh. Major road means major people. Good. That's what I'm, I was going for. And it looks like there's no local Olympians nearby. Oh, surprising. I guess they must all be hiding inside now. That oh-so-scary Kalji has come to town. I was a little panicked when they made that broadcast cast earlier, but if it's got all the civilians off the roads, they did I, they did us a huge favor. Wow. Now we've got now we've just got to send before more soldiers showed up. Uh Abscond? Abscond? <laughs> Great word, right? I've been brushing up on my modern day slang. Wait, stop! Musashi? Nothing's headed our way. You're right. I'm picking up an incredibly massive magical energy reading right in front of us. Is that... Tar tar target spotted. R resuming battle. God damn it. Targets respotted. Resuming battle. Are you freaking kidding me? Did somebody hit rewind when I was looking? I could have swore I cut his power source thingy in half. Ooh, those two battles took an hour. Now I feel like an idiot for ever thinking I look like anywhere near as big as dirty as a wisdom king. Things end when they end. When it's time to die, it's time to die. I'm okay with that. The intangible may last forever, but all that is corporeal must end one day. Master, I just realized we've seen this sort of instantaneous regeneration before. The meter Claronia. Right. The various nano machines we frequently saw in Atlantis. Of course, such technology would have its origins in Olympus. Right you are. Behold, people of proper human history, this is Demir's authority, Demeter Cleronomia. Reinforcements, and no ordinary ones by the looks of it. These definitely aren't soldiers. This magical energy is intense. Now that I'm a servant, I can tell these beings easily surpass even that damn bronze idol. I see. So these are the lost belt's divine spirits. No, 
is God. Stay where you are. Do not bother trying to resist. My Talos is protected by Olympus itself. No mere humans can hope to defeat it. Oh? I was surprised to see you deny to speak to them, Queen Europa. Don't be rude, big brother. Remember, Queen Europa has assimilated with Lady Hera. That thing is no longer human, but a demigod. You mustn't glare at it like that. Hmm. It may have a guy inside now, Pollux, but it's still human. It make that makes her no different from that failure, Canis. Oh, big brother. Oh, oh. The Dioscuri, the twin gods. Master, those are the divine spirits we encountered once back in Atlantis. Hmm. Did you look at me, human? Did you point at me and speak my name? How dare you! <gasps> Not so fast! Mash! Master, I... I couldn't even budge. Why you? Oh, was that rude of me? I'm sorry, I was just so surprised at how light your pitiful little god sword was. If I hadn't known better, I'd have thought I was battling away a feather pillow. Yeah, right. I don't know how I'd even begin fighting back against swordplay like that. How the hell was his strike that strong? Or that fast? That blade was practically moving at light speed. Maybe it actually was at, was light or something. With, what the hell? Not even a bona fide source hand could manage that strike. Thank goodness for Holmes and his quick thinking. He must have figured out figure something like this would happen when he cast that support spell on me. If he hadn't, Match's head would be lying on the ground right about now. Oh, I don't like him. Please, stay your blade caster. Are you speaking to me in your capacity as queen? Big brother. I won't forget that insolent face of yours, human. Human woman. I'll kill you myself when the time comes. Oh my, whatever will I do? Welcome back, big brother. Thank you, little sister. You did wonderful obeying the queen's orders. I knew you could do it, big brother. Stop praising me, little sister. Not in front of the humans. Oh my, my, my. Whatever do you think you're doing, Aphrodite? I can't believe you're, you already started. Don't you know your bad behavior reflects poorly on us, too? Perhaps you need a refresher on what it means to be a god, Pollux. You did, you did get a new infusion of father's blood, didn't you? What are you trying to say? Nothing. She's not trying to say anything. Come now, Aphrodite. You should know better than that. Whatever happened in the past, the Dioscuri are now a beloved part of our family. So let's try to be a little kinder, okay? Fo fo fo! This magical energy is overwhelming! Master, in my estimation, these two women are most likely also gods from this lost belt. So, we're up against two divine spirit servants, three gods, and a bronze giant forged by yet another god. At this point, it would seem they have more than enough power to wipe us out, quite handily. Suffice to say, these foes will be far more deadly than the Olympian soldiers. Now then. What are we going to do? Fo! Fo Fo! Uh, over here, Fo! It's too dangerous for you to stay on my shoulder. Uh, 
Well, aren't you forgetting anything? <sighs> oh, four. Really? You really don't know? You do realize you're in the presence of gods right now, right? Didn't you meet any other in others in the Scandinavian or Indian Lost Belts? I'm telling you to bow your heads. Uh, ah, ah. My brain! I can hear it directly in my brain! What's going on? Is she attacking our minds directly? Do something, Holmes! Naturally, I've been using our mental protection talismans this whole time, but they aren't working! This... this must be Aphrodite's authority! Guys! This is bad. There, that's better. Bow your heads, humans. Know your place. Kneel before the gods. Do not forget, this is Olympus, the eternal paradise where we gods reign supreme. I think that's enough, Aphrodite. Our revelation is upon us. Their sentence is near at hand. Gods, humans, all those gathered here, open your ears, for the Almighty One is about to speak. Zeus, Zeus, our Almighty Ruler, the Heavens Incarnate. All await your presence. Please, speak to us. The sky. I am. I am the heavens. I am lightning. I am the supreme ruler. I am Zeus, the almighty god. Those of you who now bow your heads. Those of you who have forgotten your place and reach for the gods. Remember. Humans must never defy gods. Humans must never commit sin. Humans. Foolish reeds who will who would prolong the great sin of proper human history. All of you must die. Ha 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 ha! You're getting my hopes up, father! <laughs> you said it, big brother. Make it quick. Oh my, I was hoping to at least let them have some wine first. Zeus has made his decision. Do not let them suffer. Make their death quick and painless, Theo Scurry. Did you hear that, brother? Big brother? We have permission now. At last, you get to indulge in your favorite pastime, killing humans. Since you're usually forbidden from doing so, this is your chance to really enjoy yourself. Oh yes, you bet I'm going to kill them. Watch this, little sister. I'm about to show you the full extent of my wrath. Die, humans. Master, I managed to activate the Orkness's emergency mode. I put it at 60%. Spirit or origin stabilized. Our opponents are one divine spirit and one hostile giant. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. These are the meanest gods I've ever met. They couldn't even wait until this damn headache wears off before attacking us. But if that's how it's going to be, then that's fine with us. Right, Barrow Draco? Our opponents are... Our opponents mean business and they are more powerful than anything we've ever faced. What do you do? We fight back as hard as we can. You got it. One God Destroyer coming right up. 
When we're done, they won't know what hits them. I don't know why I had Ether, but... Uh, boy, I don't think I'm gonna win this. Especially with a stupid giant. And attack the- oh my god. Seriously? We're playing like this? Horribly crippled? Uh, I don't know if I should put defenses up. I don't know who gets the first attack. If the Dio Skura gets the first attack, then that's two single target attacks and one AoE. If Talos gets the attack, that's two AoEs. Uh, that hit like 5k each, dear god. Okay, that's two way we got. And they got the charge game. Right there. Skill, skill. Okay. Well, that doesn't help much. We can kill Talos, but we're still in the ringer for not having enough NP. What's the match going on? What's going on, Master? Oh, overcharge up. Not super relevant. Uh, I guess we just go with Musashi and go for to get as many stars we can. Because I'm pretty sure we got Talos on deck. Ship up the Mr. Billy. Don't know why I didn't. See, the big problem here is that Quinaris is a, is a Lancer, and I'm fighting against a Saber. Uh, I, I need I need Gramps alive. Grant is the only one who can actually do damage against the deal scary. Did we kill it? No. God damn it. God damn it, it went right after Romulus. Yeah, we are we are not winning this. Oh my god, I may have expected more from Merlin than he I really should have. Wait, that Pierce Invincible? God damn it. So it took my entire team of servants, everything, just to get rid of Talos. Ugh. Wow, 
Why is Talos still on the field? Wow. Buster Card did not gain anything, huh? Uh, Safe K neutral. Oh, man spells go. Well, Musashi has a brave chain, so if we'll do that. Yeah, I, I'm feeling I should stop doing this challenge run. It seems, it seems like it's on the impossible side. <laughs> yeah, the battles here are just too tough to make real, like, limited hot challenge runs. Like, at least on low rarity, you can still use, like, a variety of servants, but using brands only, or you know, anything along those lines, just doesn't work. Because they don't feel, uh, fulfill enough niches. Like, this would have worked if I had Orion. Honestly, if I had Super Orion, I could have probably beat this. Because he is an archer, so he had defensive abilities. He also crits like a beast. So it would have handled a lot of damage for like three turns at least. Alright, let's see how the grief chain does. Ten. I really can't wish it was showing how many damage to do in the turn. Seriously, couldn't target King Hassan, you know, the one with the guts? Jeez. Okay, this is a. Oh, this is a wash turn, anyways. Well, I need King Hassan alive. Oh, no, Man! Yeah. This really kind of just hammers it home that this is 
this run's kind of impossible if I don't actually have all the characters. Oh. oh, cool. Is it? My last bit of power. Anything after this is just death. Fifty K. Crit. Crit. Nope. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> uh. Oh man, that is that stuff. I hear cheers. Cheers so loud they echo all around us. Cheers demanding the intruders be punished. Cheers demanding the wicked Chaldeans be obliterated. Women and men, young and old alike, are shouting from their windows, united in a single wish. The death of the of Chaldea. Looks like Aphrodite, Demeter, and Europa aren't joining in the fight. Just to maintain their dignified image in front of their human audiences. Those goddesses clearly aren't about to start working together anytime soon. I guess this mean go means gods have their own special way they'd prefer, prefer to win. In which case, that just leaves the giant and the unhinged divine spirit servants to worry about. I could probably take out one of them if I wasn't worried about making it out of this alive, but not both. Ordinarily, I wouldn't mind sacrificing myself to take them down, but that really doesn't seem like an option here. <sighs> this must be just how Lord Ishun Intun felt back then. How ironic that it took a situation like this for me to realize it. Bell Draco! It looks like we're all out of options. I'll hold off here while the rest of you... We're not going anywhere. I don't think they'll let us. Damn it. Why'd you have to say that? I understand this may not be convincing, seeing how we... I just tried to do the very same thing. But that would not be the best course of action. No. I believe this is where I come in. I have some experience with finding ways to out of desperate odds, you see. Wait, really? So you still got some kind of trump card up your sleeve? Then why are you waiting for? Odds don't get much more desperate than this. It's not that sort of solution I like to employ with any frequency, especially when there are so many unknown variables. Alright. Huh? What was that? I don't like the look of those clouds. Oh! Fo, oh, please, get back in the storage space. It's not safe outside right now. Fo, fo, fo! Hmm. A god of the heavens, eh? I see. Apparently, he doesn't care for my trump card. Bear Draco, Miss Curialite, Miss Miyamoto, I suggest you focus on your battle with Dioscuri and the Bronze Giant. And one more thing, do keep your distance from me. Holmes? Have you told your own fortune, Sage of Caldia? Hardly, your majesty. But this is, this is but an elementary deduction. G Master, 
that lightning bolt just struck Holmes. Holmes! Holmes! Oh! Well, that's certainly one way to get my attention. A thunderbolt. This must really. <laughs> now I see. Oh! Kiao! Holmes! Uh. It seems I'm still alive. But I'm afraid. I won't last much longer. What do you think you're doing? Did you see that thunderbolt? Did you see how ridiculously huge it was? You could at least act surprised. Why should I act to be surprised? Every bolt that falls from the heavens is but one of Zeus's blades. What's the matter, Kaldia? Is one of you getting a bit singed? Is one of you getting a bit singed all it takes to knock the fight out of you? A bit singed? Father's real thunderbolts completely disintegrate whatever they touch. If he had truly wanted to be rid of your friend, or that ship of yours, both would already be gone. Now do you understand? The only thunderbolt of his you've seen so far are essentially him flexing his finger. If the thunderbolts of, you, of his you've seen were rain, and they would be no more than a faint drizzle. Now kneel before us, people of proper human history, and tremble in fear. Did you hear, did you hear that, big brother? Talos agrees with us. Indeed he does, little sister. Then come, Talos, and let us end these humans' miserable lives together. Then, when we find, our, find where their dive machine is hidden, and kill every human on board, Master, get behind me! Foe! Foe? Uh, where did that accursed dissonance come from? Oh my, this isn't good at all. This undulating magical energy. I think it's interfering directly? What is this unpleasant sensation? Damn it! Someone's messing with our god made ley line network! It seems matters have taken an unexpected turn. Gee, thanks for the news flash. Now hurry up and figure out where those people are hiding already. Big Brother, somebody's firing magical energy blasts at us from our 6 o'clock. Stay calm, little sister. Just keep your magical energy focused on defense, and we'll be and we'll be able to weather this attack just fu- This way! Hurry! Before the can's magical energy runs out! Yes, hurry! Can you hear us, Chaldeans? Then go on, run for it! We'll keep these gods those gods over there busy. <gasps> Who are you? The master? Save your questions for later. Come with me if you want to live. It won't be long before the royal guard shows up. And I'm sure you'll want to face those insanely powerful gods and their also insanely powerful soldiers at the same time, right? R right. Mash, Barrow, if these people are offering us a way out, I'm pretty sure we should take it. Don't worry, I'll carry the pretty boy detective. He might be burned pretty badly, but he's still alive. Come on, let's hurry. Don't we have much choice here? Okay, Master. This way. Come on. Oh, right. Minerva. One last blast for good measure. Why, you? You would dare disrupt our ley line network again? Why, you? You would dare interfere with my brother's killing of humans again? This treachery will not stand! You will never get away with this! I'll kill you all myself! I'll tear you all limb from limb and set fire to your innards! I'll never sheathe my sword again until I bathe myself in your screams of agony! Ah! 
you'll pay for this. You'll all pay. Chaldea! Man, talk about a hateable character. What is this place? Hmm. It feels like we've been walking forever. So if I'm not mistaken, we're basically underneath Olympus now, right? I'm told this is the underworld. Huh? Though that's not to say that this is the land of the dead. This is the foundation of Olympus, its underground infrastructure. Once, it was the domain of Hades, god of the underworld. It is safe here. Zeus cannot find you. Which is why they were using this place themselves. It looks like some kind of headquarters. I would surmise it's a secret base used by those who rose in revolt against the gods of Olympus. Nope. You keep leaning on me, pretty boy. You're still in no shape to walk around on your own. Thank you. I'm all right now. I appreciate your help, Miss Miyamoto. So, most benevolent savior. Are my suspicions correct? Don't call me that. It's absurd. I just happen to be passing by. I don't recall saving anyone's life, and I have no plan to, to any time soon either. You lot just happened to be walking behind me when I came here. I didn't go up there to help you. I just made a bad decision. Uh, but you told us to come with you if we wanted to live. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just kept walking. Anyway, I wasn't playing on any of this. But what's done is done. You lock and use this place if you want to. Or not. I don't care either way. And I'm not getting involved. If you want to know more, you can ask the two who were firing those cans when they showed up. Hoot, hoot. Yeah, alright. I'll do one more thing for you before I go. I'll play the methods those servants left. Good day, everyone. That voice sounds familiar. Is that... Uh, testing, testing. Is the mic working? Ah, uh, is this being recorded right now? Hello? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hmm? What is it, lady? Is it recording successfully? Thank you. Alright, from the top. I am Nikola Tesla. I am one of the heroic spirits from proper human history that made their way to Olympus from Atlantis. By the time you hear this recording, the rest of us will most likely have lost our transient bodies. Bluntly, will have been annihilated. Yes, that's right. By the time you hear this, every heroic spirit from proper human history who made it to Olympus will have vanished. Oh. Oh. They're all... gone? I, um, hope you don't mind that I started this off with such bad news. I just thought that leading with the bad would make the good news that follow it sound even better. Hmm? What's the lady? Should we start record? The Should we start the recording over? No. Let's keep it going. Let me start by in introducing myself more properly. Hmm? On second thought, you truly want to start over? Well, if you feel that strongly about it. Okay, everyone. We're doing audio and video this time. Are you all ready? Then three, two, one. The God Destroyer Alliance. We will defeat the gods. Overcome all odds. Revolt against this. Revolt against. Uh, mm -hmm. Revolt against this shitty destiny. And strive for a better future. 
We are the forces that gathered from across Atlantis and Olympus, the two sides of this lost belt. We are the God Destroyer Army that swore to defeat the Obama Clockwork Gods ruling this world. Thou art the harvest that reaps the stars. I should do a Lost Belt King run instead. Gazing up the gazing up at the sky. Always reminds me of my beautiful, fragile daughter. My dear daughter, who was born solely to be loved. You always loved everything that grew on the land. You always had such a bright smile on your face. I always hoped that one day, you would meet someone wonderful, fall in love, and have a dear child of your own who looked just like you. Then that child would one day have a child of their own, and so on and so on. Until one day, the land would be covered with your descendants. That's what I used to dream about, I truly believed it would happen. But now... Ah, uh, why? Why? Why did you leave the land that day? Great Orbal Shrine, Olympia Dodonna. Hanging Perimeter Gardens. The birds are chirping merrily again today. They sing the praises of Olympus. They sing how of how happy they are to be here among the glorious skies, bountiful harvests, and beautiful vistas. Ah, and yet, my heart sits ill at ease. Hmm, sounds like you've got it rough too, hun. You're, you're, you're the queen, right? In my world version of Greek mythology, I remember Zeus falling in love with a human queen at one point. But they say you fused with Zeus's first wife, Hera. Doesn't that feel like sharing a body with your mother-in-law? How can you stand it? And on top of that, you're even acting as his priestess. I guess Zeus must be really attached to you. By the way, just out of curiosity, how does this Lost Belt feel about women's rights? During the Olympia Machia, Lady Hera suffered a grave wound, and her original mechanical body was destroyed. But Zeus was reluctant to lose his beloved queen forever. By fusing her remnants with me, a heroic spirit from proper human history, he was able to prolong both our lives. Such is the depth of his love for us. I see. Thank you for worrying about me, Pepe. Now, um, if you wouldn't mind, I was hoping to ask you about the Chaldeans. How can I say no to that? Especially after... You've so kindly put me, been putting me up in your lovely palace or shrine. Oh, oh, what this? Are you two having a nice chat? Any friend of Curious Tire Wood Dime is a friend of Zeus's. Please make yourself at home. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do then. I must applaud your initiative, Queen Europa. Lady Demeter, I would never have thought to do something so dreadful as gathering information on Chaldea and proper human history. What's this all about? No, wait, let me guess. Is it because you feel responsible for letting them get away yesterday? Yes, that's right. I feel terrible about 
about not being able to fulfill Zeus's rev revelation. Oh, you poor thing. You really are quite the worry wart, aren't you? But you don't have to worry about things like this. Just let yourself and the other gods get, just let myself and the other gods take care of it. You may have assimilated with Lady Hera, but you're still only a demigod. Zeus would never want you pushing yourself beyond your limits. All you need to do is sit and smile by the flowers, like any young maiden of your age. Have you met your da my daughter Persephone yet? I would just love to see you two become friends. Lady Demeter, I'm afraid Persef Persephone is a servant, was it? Her heroes who were inscribed in humanity upon their death and now materialized as, her as heroic spirits. What a truly awful procedure. I can scarcely think of anything more dreadful. Everyone knows humans should only be born from their mothers. Say, I have a wonderful idea, Europa. You should think of me as your mother now. I... It's quite alright, Europa. There's no need to be polite. I'm the goddess of the land, and the land has always been mother to all things. Mother to all things, huh? That sounds like Gaia. In the Greek the mythology I know, she was the mother of the earth, the gods, and everything under the sun. She was also married to Uranus, the first god of the heavens. First there was chaos, then Gaia, the land, came forth and gave birth to everything. The land has always been a mother. That's how it's supposed to be. And the sea... The sea was also a mother, or at least it was supposed to be. The sea? Hmm, I didn't sense any sort of femininity from that late god of the sea in Atlantis. Maybe that refers to the Oceanids, the dars of the sea. T. Oh, Pepe, human sage, that isn't what I mean. Hmm, I suppose it might be difficult for you to understand. But, all the same, I'm certain the sea was also once a mother. Hmm. Suspect. Very suspicious. A magical energy, energy signal is making its way towards the ship. It's kind of faint, but I recognize this pattern anywhere. It's a servant! Damn it! Now what do we do? We don't have anyone here who can fight right now. C -c 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 Calm down, Manuel. Have you tried a more thorough scan yet? Yes, Manuel. What? Now can can't you even remember the food theme anymore? Oh, is it meringue? Is that how you spell meringue? Okay, I got it. Oh, that's a different theme. Uh. Nope. Man, I cannot understand how to read the pronunciation things. Manny? There's a delta in this. How am I supposed to pronounce a delta? Okay. I'm just gonna keep calling manure because I just been sticking to that. But anyway, good idea. I run a thorough scan right now. Easy there, guy. Easy there, guys. Just keep together. I already scanned the servant myself, and there's nothing to worry about. Leonardo! Tactical advisor! What are you thinking? You're supposed to be in recovery. Hey, what's the big idea? You know I prefer to be called Da Vinci. Anyway, don't worry about me. My recovery is still coming along fine. 
Holmes was nice enough to set things up for me so I could connect my consciousness to the Boris core from the recovery pod. That said, the most I can do right now is activate the systems that don't need the magical reactors to be rebooted. Hmm, so you're not overexerting yourself then? Of course not. I was gonna make my health first priority. Isn't that what your family homunculus used to do, too? Yes, it is. Ruthlessly so, in fact. But never mind that now. What does the scan tell us? Oh, right. The magical energy signal. Well, like I said, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Their spirit origin is super high quality, but I can also tell that they're low magical energy levels from the low magical energy level that they're in pretty bad shape. So it looks like a really high-end heroic spirit. One with a, a spirit origin that's on par with divine spirit has drifted here, probably from Atlantis. Drifted? So what? You're saying they got sucked into the Great Pit Whirlpool? And they've been sort of floating around this area since instead of falling straight down? They probably got some kind of passive ability that lets them move around like this even when they're adrift. Then we then we need to make a calm, level headed decision. So we have to so we have a powerful divine spirit level servant. Drifting in about drifting about in a weakened state. From Atlantis. Hmm. N -n no what is it? Relax, old man. That was just our new message sound. Looks like we've got a bunch of data from the wandering sea. Huh. The readme is a video file. I'll put it up now on the main monitor. Firstly, I want to congratulate all of you for making it to Olympus. Now that you have made it this far, I wish you success in cutting down the Tree of Emptiness. I have been going over all the data you sent me, and it has, been, it has proven extremely useful. Thanks to what you learned by going up against the Machine Gods Armist and Poseidon, we now know that we can expect the, that the other gods of Olympus are similarly powerful mechanical beings with combat abilities beyond human ken. And above all, we have gained information from the ultimate weapon that Hephaestus designed and forged out of Achilles' divine construct armor. The longbow Orion used to shoot down Armus. That piece of data turned out to be the final key. The final key. This is the key that will give humans the means to bring down gods. The last hope we have of fighting back against these Lero Deus Ex Machina. Hey, I guess I would be. You know what, I'm going to call it a day there. I... I think... I think we have to end this challenge run. The bosses are too tough. I just can't really figure out how to do this without revives. Which is sad. But yeah, we only have one support servant in Merlin, and Mash is currently like semi-support. Not really. She's a taunter. So she's not even support anymore. So another Talos battle is just gonna murder her. Uh. Yeah. Like I like using the Grand Servants, but because I don't have Orion, my team comps aren't like. Well, I guess because Orion's like the strongest one out of all the Grand Servants so far. Like, Romulus needs set up for his NP to go off. King Hassan is just kind of like a Buster Gorilla that kind of self sustains, but not super well because his guts have too long of a cooldown. Uh, Merlin's just Merlin, so if he can't get his NP off, he's just kind of dead in the wire. 
like I could just ran Kaleidoscope, but the team, the also the problem with the team is that there isn't enough Arse cards to really let Merlin shine. Because getting his MP off constantly and consistently is a big reason why he's so powerful. Because of the heal and the passive MP gain. But if you can't do that, because you're getting murdered by Talos, a Berserker that hits everyone for minimum 5k per turn, uh, well, you can't really uh, do anything against that. And Romulus, I don't have enough materials to like 10 10 him, so his skills aren't as powerful as they should be. Not only that, but he just needs a lot of setup for like consistent MP damage for the multiplier for the the roam thing. Like Orion's still pretty much the only one who can stand on his own, I feel, like as a soloist, because of how high his crit is. But even then, I don't really know how well Orion would do in this team comp. But the only support we have is Merlin and the, the 2030s. Or, yeah, 2030s? So after turn 2, we would get 18 stars per turn. Come on, what we got last turn. Yeah, and he doesn't have like a heal either, so. Yeah. I think we're just gonna switch this over to like Lost Belt Kings, because I actually do have all the Lost Belt Kings. I have Anastasia, I have Ivan, I have Scotty, I have Arjuna, Alter, and I have uh. Quang. Quang Xing Hong. <sighs> but yeah, it sucks. I, I kind of, I really did kind of want to get through all this with the Lost Belt, or not the Lost Belt, with the, uh, the Grand Servants, but not having Orion really makes it a problem, because I'm, I'm one team member short, and that usually is, like, just enough damage for me to clear some fights. Well, except for Olympus. Olympus actually was a problem. Or not Olympus, uh, Atlantis. Because that actually was just 5. No, no, it's still a problem. Yeah, I only have a... There's only currently enough team members for a 5-slot team. And having that 6-slot empty it's, has been a real pain in the neck. <sighs> so, yeah. This is where the the run ends, and I'm gonna switch over to uh, what am I called? Lost Belt Kings. See how well that does. I think they're gonna do better because one, we have a ruler, and two, we have a berserker on the team. Scotty is not super helpful because he's a quick support. But the berserker and ruler really kind of, really kind of help. <laughs> All right, so. Thank you everyone who joined me today, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!